Hello, everybody. You are very welcome to Successful Perspectives. Successful Perspectives, of course, is when we deep dive into the topic of leadership with one of our members from our very selective and influential network, Boardroom by Amir. And for this chat, I am very happy to be joined by Amr Kanzahab, the CEO and board member for Union Properties. Amr, it's great to have you on Successful Perspectives, and thank you for joining me. Thank you, Frank, for the opportunity, and I look forward to it. Amr, okay. Union Properties, a leader in the UAE property development market, instrumental in developing some of Dubai's most iconic projects, successfully delivering over 10,000 residential, commercial, and retail units in the city, and of course, headquartered in Dubai, employing over 8,000 people. And as I've gotten to know you on your very impressive journey over the last number of years, I've been looking forward to our conversation to learn more about your leadership style and your principles. So let's start by going back a little bit and thinking about your, your leadership style. When you were starting out your career and up to now, what are the main tenets of your leadership philosophy? It's a very, uh, very good question, uh, Frank. Um, to me, uh, with leadership, we need to first be crystal clear on your values. Right? For anything, for any leadership style, first thing is you need to be crystal, crystal clear on your values. And to me, the values need to include a few fundamental things. One is uh, integrity and ethics. Uh, two is uh, care about others, uh, be it uh, customers, supply chain, uh, employees, uh, etc. cetera, uh, about the stakeholders. Um, three is about doing the best we can right? and four is about positive impact on society and the uh, world we live in so uh, once these are crystal clear um, my tense of philosophy is revolves around you know uh, helping people or helping uh, the team and colleagues to achieve their maximum potential and is this something that you reflect on um, regularly Amr, and and how do you how do you feel you, you measure its success? Oh, definitely. Um, I mean, uh, a reflection on my leadership style and philosophy philosophy always runs at the back of my mind. Right, uh, every day at every incident, there's always something running there. You know, to to challenge myself: Am I leading the right way? Are we on the right track? Are we doing the right thing? Um, so it's always running in the background subconsciously. Right, <laughs> but then. And major incidents, major successes, or major failure, uh, failures, we do discuss it and uh, um, and bring it out, and uh, you know, openly see whether we're heading uh, in the right way. But then, how do you over time measure that success of your of your philosophy? Very good question. To me, whenever I take a task uh, in leading a company, I always have a vision. I have a, 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 a sort of a, an aim, higher aim, higher goal. Uh, that we that I want to reach to. You know, it's usually up in the stars somewhere uh, that I uh, that I want to reach to. And to me, success is about making steady progress towards achieving that. Right? We we uh, usually um, take on a task or come to work wanting to run, and you know, I had that 100 miles per hour. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't happen. But to me, as long as we're heading in the right direction, we're making progress, and the whole team is moving. Uh, towards that goal, that is success. No, it's a great answer. I was just reflecting as you were speaking on, on when we spoke before the call, and I was under the assumption that there was 6,000 people working in Union Properties, and you mentioned, Frank, it's actually eight. And that in itself shows that that constant reflection, that philosophy and the leadership principles that you've mentioned of constantly striving to, to grow the integrity as well and obviously everything's moving in the right direction Emmer, which is really really good to see but when you reflect on all this and when you think about leadership like would you would you consider yourself a, a natural leader uh that is the 
I don't have a straightforward answer to you. Uh, to me, uh, I think I was raised on certain values. I was young. I, uh, we sent uh, we well, we were raised to hold high standard of uh, ethics and integrity. Um, however, I was not always a leader. You know, I was a shy person as a kid, very shy person, and I had uh, to work on myself um, to improve my leadership skills. My uh, if you want uh, personality. I am an introvert by nature, um, and I had to work on myself and train myself to be a bit more extrovert. Excellent. That's a really good answer as well. It's that you're, you're very introspective, even from a young age and over time. And I, I love the answer because it's a very humble and modest reflection on, on your awareness of, of what your strengths are and what you want to work on as well, Amr, which is a brilliant answer. But in, in the modern world, do you feel that the modern leader has a, a great responsibility to not only create a positive culture for their team, but also to make a positive impact on society. Definitely. It is uh, the responsibility, I believe, the responsibility of every leader to make the world better uh, and to lead not only for profits, but uh, for the benefit of all stakeholders, including the environment and society as a whole. Excellent answer. And like we, true to successful perspectives, there are, a whole audience of, of aspiring leaders, rising stars that are watching this and looking at you as, a, as an excellent leader. Over your career, what's the best career advice you have ever received that you can pass on to the rising stars of the future? Let me tell you a short story then <laughs> from my past. Um, at, at one point in my career, early in my career, um, I was working outside the family business. I worked a lot, I worked most of my career in my family business, Khan Sahib Investment, Khan Sahib Group. So at one point I was working outside and a, um, a new CEO came in that company, all right? And one of the incidents with him that uh, is in my mind to today and really helped me if I want, build my leadership style and, my, uh, and the way I manage people is, um, he went around having one-to-one -one meetings with all the team members and he asked them to put a vision for themselves and the aim and inspiration where they want to be. Um, so I put uh, my vision mm -hmm. uh, and what I wanted to do and he was, it was very wide, very inspirational and he was very, very receptive to that. And a few months after that, I I received a, a double promotion, right? Oh. So I, I went up to him and said, you know, everybody got a promotion, but you gave me a double promotion, so I went up to the two, uh, two steps. Uh, don't you think that is a bit, you know, unfair to the others? That's it. And his answer to me was, listen, uh, I'm not here to hold anyone up, right? It is uh, your career, it is your work, I don't want to stand in the way of your progress. And to me, that resonates still today that as a leader, we should never step in the uh, in, in the way of people's progress, right? Be it inside our company or even externally. So, to me, whenever uh, employees or uh, colleagues come to me and say, "Listen, you know, we want to leave for a better opportunity," and you know, we are uh, we are shy, we don't know how to how to come and tell you that because they've worked with us for a long time. I always say, "Listen, this is." If you think this is good for your career, good for you, I will be very supportive. You know, I'm not here to stand in anybody's way to fulfill uh, their dreams and ambitions. That's an excellent answer. I love it. It was really reflective on like proactiveness and being aspirational, but also being humble and reflective on allowing others to to grow based on what their needs are. It's an excellent oversight, um, Amber. And the, the last question, I'm just mindful of our time as well. One more question before we before we shift on to our, our rapid fire round is for you, how do, how do leaders build a company culture in the modern and, and increasingly remote workplace? It's not a straightforward method, right? Uh, I, I think every group of people uh, interact in a different way, in their own way. So first thing is we need to understand how people interact. We need to understand people's backgrounds, where they come from, uh, their cultures, their habits. Uh, but there are a few, I think, 
key fundamentals uh, that we need to stick to. One is uh, have clear values, right? Have a clear set of values for everyone to abide with. Have a clear goal and be persistent. Be persistent uh, and uh, reminding people of those values, of those goals, and on monitoring that everybody's working in the right direction. Excellent. This is excellent, Amr. Look, I love, I love the questions. I love your answers as well. They're, they're things I reflect on uh, quite a lot during successful perspectives as well. And you've given everyone like really, really good food for thought there. So, Amr, look, Jinyamani, thank you for your time. As in, thank you for being on Successful Perspectives. It's genuinely being a pleasure having you. And um, that was excellent. Very, very interesting insights.